today we're going to be making instant pot butter chicken for that we're going to be needing two pounds of boneless chicken it's good if you have chicken thighs it tastes really good bone in but I only had boneless chicken breast that's what I'm using today about three tablespoons of butter two cups of tomato puree this is homemade can would do perfectly fine one cup of coconut milk two tablespoons of ginger and garlic paste, one teaspoon of cumin powder, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of garam masala, one teaspoon of paprika powder, half teaspoon of chili powder, that is totally optional, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one tablespoon of tomato paste, and one tablespoon of dried fenugreek leaves. Let's get started. To begin with, I'm gonna press the saute mode on Instant Pot. First, we'll add butter. This is very easy. We're just pretty much putting everything inside the Instant Pot except for the coconut milk and tomato paste. That's going to go in last. Because if you add this in now, it's going to end up sticking at the bottom of the pan. So we don't want to do that. Chili powder and paprika powder, garam masala, cumin powder, turmeric powder, salt, fenugreek, leaf. Give it a mix. You will not need any water in this because tomato itself has a lot of water and the chicken is going to release water as well. Don't forget the ginger and garlic paste. Just going to put the lid on. We cancel the saute mode already. Pressure cook it for about six minutes. And once the timer goes off of cook time, we'll just do a quick pressure release. The timer just went off. I'm going to do a quick pressure release. Give this a mix. I'm gonna turn on the saute mode. Add in the coconut milk and a tablespoon of tomato paste. Give it a mix and cook it until your desired consistency that you look for. I'm gonna cook it for maybe another eight minutes. I had this cooking for about seven minutes and this is the consistency that I'm looking for. I'm turning off the saute mode. And that's it, our butter chicken under 30 minutes already. It tastes delicious and the healthiest because it has less calories and less fat as compared to the original butter chicken. I hope you give this recipe a try and do let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not to my channel for more delicious recipes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.